Hello friends, in today's session I will help you in uh, finding out the square of any number from 1 to 125 without using pen and paper or with very less use of pen and paper. The application is going to be there in solving questions on quantitative aptitude because at times you notice that in case you know these calculations mentally, probably you will save a lot of time. So let's begin. Let's say, uh, also okay, the only prerequisite for finding out squares of any number from 1 to 125 is that you must remember squares of number from 1 to 25. So that is something that you must know. So now I can divide this into three sections. 1 to 125 as I told you is something which has to be there on your fingertips. 26 to 75 and then from 76 to 125. So let's say if I want to first of all start from here. And I want to find a square of a number of say 104. So isn't it very similar to saying that I want to multiply 104 with 104? And if I wanted to multiply it by using base method, I would have taken a base of 100. Then I would have gone for a, a comparison of 104 with 100. So I would have got a surplus of 4 in both the cases. So I am introducing a variable called x, which is 4 in this case. So my answer would have been the multiplication of the surplus, which is 16, and then addition of 4 with 104, which is nothing but 108. So square of 104 is nothing but 10816. Now this has involved a lot of writing and I wanted to avoid writing and give you a, a direct uh, formula for finding out the square. So let me generalize it. So what I've got is 108 slash 16, 16 this is my right hand side of an answer and this is the left hand side of my answer. I know what I've introduced was B as my base which is equal to 100 and X as my surplus which was equal to 4. So in terms of 4 and 100 I can write 16 as 4 square. And I can also write 108 as 100 plus 2 into 4. So it can be written as b plus 2x slash x square. So this is the left hand side of my answer and this is the right hand, of the right hand side of my answer. The only thing that you need to keep in your mind is that this is always and always a two digit number. Why is this a two digit number? Because our base is 100. In base 100, we cannot have anything less than two digits on our right hand side. So in case it comes out to be a single digit number, you will have to put a zero in front of it to make it a two digit number. And in case it comes out to be a three digit number, you will have to do a carry forward of the number at the hundreds place. I will explain. Let us say, I want, to find, I want to find square of 103. So that means my number is 103. The shortcut that I have given you is b plus 2x slash x squared. The value of b is 100 and that of x is 3. So this is 3 square. This is 100 plus 2 into 3. So it is 9 on my right hand side and 106 on my left hand side. But you will have to make it a 2 digit number by putting a 0 in front of it. So your answer is 10609. Right? Now, let's try to do things with without using pen and paper. <coughs> so what I told you is that this is b plus 2x slash x squared. And if I wanted to find a square of a number, let's say 107. So my x is 7, 7 squared is 49. 2 into 7 is 14 plus 100 is 114. So my answer is 11449. I repeat. Let's say if I wanted to find square of a number 109. So x is 9, 9 square is 81. 9 into 2 is 18 plus 100 is 118. So your answer is 11881. I hope you are understanding what I am telling you. Let's say if I wanted to find a square of a number like 112. So x in this case is 12. 12 square is 144. 12 into 2 is 24 plus 100 is 124. But your answer cannot be 124, 144. The reason being, in base 100, you cannot have anything more than two digits on the right hand side. That means you will have to do a carry forward of 1 here, which will come out to be equal to 12544. So your answer is 12544. So that means if I would have asked you to find a square of a number like 114, so the right, right hand side would have been 14 square, which is 196. 96 retain 1 carry forward. 14 into 2 is 
28 plus 1 carry forward is 29 plus 100 is 129. So your answer would have been 12996. So even if I would have taken or if I would have I would have uh, wanted to find the square of a number like 121 x is 21 so this is 21 square which is 441 21 into 2 is 42 plus 100 is 142 plus 4 which is carry forward is 146 so your answer would have been 14641 so this is how you are supposed to find square of any number from 100 till 125 right now let's say if i had to find square of a number which is let's say 91 so that's fine if my number, if I want to find a square of a number which is 91, I'll again have to compare. I know x is either surplus or deficient when the number is compared with base which is 100. So in this case, when you compare your base is 100, if you compare your number with uh, base 100, you'll get a deficient of 9. So x in this case is minus 9. So this is minus 9 whole square. This is 100 plus twice of minus 9 which is nothing but 100 minus 18 and minus 9 square is 81. So your answer would have been 100 minus 18 which is nothing but 82. 8281 is nothing but square of 91. Again this has involved a lot of writing but you need to put some stress on your head and start doing things orally without using pen and paper. I'll tell you how. Let's say your number is 92. If your number is 92, so the very first thing that should strike in your mind is when you compare 92 with 100 you get minus 8. So the right hand side is minus 8 whole square which is nothing but 64 minus 8 into 2 is 16 and 100 minus 16 is nothing but 84 so your answer is 84 64 I repeat let's say you wanted to find square of 88 so very first thing that should strike in your uh, strike you is comparison of 100 with 88 a deficit of 12 12 square 144 44 retain 1 carry forward 12 into 2 24, 100 minus 24 is 76, plus 1 carry forward is 77, so it is 7744. So once you start doing it, probably you will have a knack for it, but practice is something which is required. Similarly, I will also let you know how to find square of number from this bracket which is from 26 to 75, because what we have seen right now is finding out squares of number from 76 to 125. I'll take one more case just for revision. b plus 2x slash x square was something that we are going to use. Let's say if I wanted to find a square of a number like 81. If my number is 81 and I want to find 81 square. So I'll have to compare my base is 100. I'll have to compare 81 with 100. So what I what I get is a deficit of 19. So this is minus 19 whole square. This is 100 plus twice of minus 19. 19 minus 19 square is plus 361. 61 retain 3 carry forward. 19 into 2 is 38. 100 minus 38 will come out to be equal to 62. 62 plus 3 is 65. So your answer is 6561, which is nothing but uh, 81 square. Let's say if I want to find square of any number from 26 to 75. Fine. So uh, a ready made shortcut for doing this is. Uh, it's nothing but 25 plus x slash x square wherein the definition of x is surplus or deficit when the number whose square you are supposed to find is compared with 50. So let's say if you want to find square of a number like and one more important thing whatever is there on the right hand side this is the right hand side of the answer and this is the left hand side of the answer this is always a two digit number so let's say if you wanted to find a square of a number like 54 so if you want to find square of a number like 54 you compare 54 with 50 you get a surplus of 4 so that means x is equal to 4 so this is nothing but 4 squared and this is 25 plus the surplus which is 4 so it is nothing but 2916 as simple as that I repeat let's say what I have told you is 25 plus x slash x square 
So let's say if I wanted to find the square of a number like 58. So I compare 58 with 50. This is 8 more. So this is 8 square. It's a 64. 25 plus 8 is what I'll be getting on the left hand side, which is nothing but 33. So your answer is 3364. So if you want to really do it fast, fine. Let's say my number is uh, 62. You compare 62 with 50, you get a surplus of 12. 12 square, 144. 44 retain, 120 forward. 25 plus 12 will come out to be equal to 37. Plus 1, which is a carry forward, is 38. So your answer is 3844. This is how you need to proceed. I'll take one more, just for your revision sake. Let's say I wanted to find the square of a number like 71. So if I compare 71 with 50, I get a surplus of 21. 21 square is 441. 41 retain and 4 carry forward. 21 plus 25 is 46, plus 4 is 50. So your answer is 5041, which is nothing but 71 whole square. One last thing, let's say if I wanted to find square of a number like 42. So what I've told you that what you need to use is 25 plus x slash x square. So if you compare 42 with 50, which is your, which in this case is comparison wala thing, you get a deficit of 8. So this is minus 8 whole square, which is nothing but 64. This is 25 minus 8, which will come out to be equal to 70. So it is 1764.